Unpermitted construction at an Orange Beach condo led to dozens of evacuations. Those evacuation orders were issued yesterday at the East Tower of the Windrift Condominiums in Orange Beach. The city says occupants cannot re-enter until further notice. NBC 15's Karis Harmon has details. On Wednesday, April 3rd, the city was made aware of unpermitted construction work being performed on the East Tower of the Windrift Condominium. City staff uh, began an investigation and determined that the scope of work being performed and its impact on the structural integrity of the building um, was under question. The city of Orange Beach issued a notice of evacuation to occupants in the East Tower at the Wind Drift Condominiums on Perdido Beach Boulevard. Fort Handley with the city of Orange Beach says city staff and the fire marshal determined evacuation of the property was necessary. Our number one concern for whether it's a resident or a visitor is the safety of of our people and, and their family. He says evacuations out of the West Tower took city crews about an hour. 42 units were evacuated. The second they got the evacuation notice, they were given a um, a sheet that had numbers and we made sure that everybody uh, had a place to sleep last night. That was the most important thing. Handley remains tight lipped about what work was going on without a permit, how long that work was going on and who was doing it because he says the investigation is ongoing. Because of the evacuation order, occupants are prohibited from re-entering the East Tower. I asked how long occupants could be waiting. Right now that's in the hands of the HOA and how quickly they can work with the contractor to and or a different contractor to get this uh, remedy. But our goal as a city is as, as quickly as possible that the building is deemed safe is to get um, everybody back in there and we hope it's sooner than later. I reached out to Waves Association Management, the condo's management company. I was transferred to an on-site association agent who did not answer any of my questions. She went on to say the company would not be commenting. Karis Harmon, NBC 15 News. High-rise safety has been top of mind for many coastal communities since 2021. Now that's when a 12-story condo tower in Surfside near Miami partially collapsed, killing 98 people.